Yeah, so um, I'm going to start in the in the history a little bit. So in the late 1960s and 1970s, the U.S. Geological Survey, as part of a broader minerals and resource survey of the margin along the east coast of the United States, found evidence of fresh water, water with lower salinity than seawater beneath the ocean. What we did in the summer of 2025 was went out to intentionally drill and sample water that exists beneath the ocean in, in the pore space and in, in sands like you'd find it at the beach, um, in clays. Um, and what's the water that's filling those pore spaces? Uh, we were in about 40 to 55 meters of water depth and we drilled down beneath that another 330 to 400 meters. And what we saw was and when we're in the ocean, we saw seawater salinity in, the, in this region. It's about 32 parts per thousand salinity, 33 parts per thousand salinity. As we drilled down into the sediments, we're 30 kilometers offshore, we found water that had in some areas less than one part per thousand salinity. So what meets freshwater standards by general US um, standards, as we move farther offshore, the water had more salt in it, but still significantly less than seawater. And so what was important here was we had a, a hypothesis that this water exists in a regionally extensive area. We went out and sampled it and were able to get large volumes of water. We sampled over 50,000 liters of water from the subsurface. We can now look at that water. We can understand how salty it is. When did it get put beneath the continent, continental shelf beneath the ocean? What's happening to it today? How is it responding to the ocean above it? And so we were able to characterize in very, very explicit and rich detail how much freshened water is there and get the samples that will start help let us allow answering the questions of how did it get there and when did it get there? Also, how does it affect things like biology and, geolo and geobiology over time? How are our microbes that are living down there adapting to environments that go from salty to fresh or fresh to salty? And have they been doing it for 2000 years or 20,000 years, depending on how old the water is? Um, it, I don't know the exact volume off the top of my head. It's not a volume that we can comprehend, which is why we've talked about it in terms of time. Um, I want to I want to point out it's a significant volume. You think about New York City as being the largest city in the United States. This this volume of water could supply all of their freshwater needs for hundreds of years, and 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 that was our hypothesis before we started. The information we found is is has indicated that there is significant volumes of freshwater. We'll be able to refine that volume um, over the next few months and years as we we analyze our data. Um, but but I want to really want to emphasize here is this is just one location in the world where we think this exists. So this is the place where we've done the most rigorous tests. But we've seen areas off the coast of India, off the coast of Indonesia, off the coast of Europe. But we also think this fresh water exists off the coast of Africa. So how can 